In a city where people clog streets by parking and double parking at will, and there are now an estimated 1.4 million cars, officials have decided to experiment, allow car sharing companies to park their cars at about 300 curbside and municipal lot parking spaces in 14 neighborhoods and 11 NYCHA complexes to make them accessible to see if people will give up their cars and rent by the hour or by the day as needed. If we don't reduce the number of cars, we're all screwed. It's all about convincing people that it makes good economic sense to give up their cars. Studies have shown that owning a car in New York City right now is about $9,000 a year with car payments, insurance, maintenance, as well as the hassles of parking, potential tickets, all the inconveniences of owning a car here. The city says it will study how popular car sharing is. The car share prices can range from $8 to $15, 70 to 121 dollars per day. So if you used a car, let's say four hours a week, twice a month to run errands or visit family outside the city, you could be spending in the ballpark of about $1,500 a year as opposed to the 9000 for owning a car full time. A study on car sharing by the Mineta Transportation Institute found that an increasing body of empirical evidence supports that car sharing is an effective tool to reduce auto ownership. United States and Canadian data reveal that each car sharing vehicle removes between 5 and 20 cars from the roads. Nevertheless, the rideshare companies are getting a great deal during the pilot, paying $765 total, almost nothing, as a licensing fee for the spots, putting his honor on the defensive. I want to emphasize that, one, this is not the permanent model. This is just the initial test with a small number of spaces. The two-year pilot program begins Monday, and if it works, the mayor says it will be expanded aggressively. In Morningside Heights, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And the mayor says he believes in car sharing so much that when he leaves office, he is not going to buy a car. Says he plans to move back to his home in Park Slope, use mass transit, and car share.